The cure for cancer is eat, eat, eating healthy. Yeah. No, you can't eat meat, you can't eat ice, you can't eat sugar, you can't eat carbs, none of that shit. Have to eat living organisms the meat and fresh water. Everything else is a myth. What's that? Because the body beats anything. That's the alkaline diet, right? What is alkaline? Alkaline. Well, what is like alkaline is your pH level in your, in your system. It's like coffee is like an eight. Six is neutral, so you got to eat everything that's like six and below. All right, so where is pH? So I don't believe in it. I mean, no, I'm, I'm just telling you. Bro, yeah. no, I'm just, we just talking. Yeah. So my thing is, when people say, yo, alkaline, I get this thing called, oh, what is alkaline? <coughs> now, when I find the definition of alkaline, why do they name it alkaline? Because science is always, each, each syllable always means something. So why is it called alkaline? The man that made it. Why did he make it? Was it made for money? Mm. And technically, the human body is not supposed to be alkaline. It's supposed to be acidic and alkaline. Yeah, yeah. So if you got a high rate of alkalinity, it's not good for you. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> FIFA and chill. We are back. And we're getting even better. Fam, we've got Waka Flocka. Messi. Flame in the building. Yo, those are your favorite, by the way. We've done our research. Yeah, sort of, Veronica. <laughs> Jim said, how's the vegan life treating you? Because it seems like we're starting with the, with the controversial straight away. The vegan, uh, I actually wanted to step down from being a vegan. Mm. I was, I just took credit for something I didn't understand. Mm. And I was living a lifestyle of consciousness and spirituality and more so energy and like, like the vibes of people. Mm. And then I heard this, this name called vegan. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh shit, it's a lot of people that's doing this shit. But actually, it wasn't. People was only, it was more of a social thing. Mm. Uh, but it was, it was a lot of health too going on but to me people just focus on the vegan of food my vegan was a, a seeing looking hearing it was everything everything is vegan Every, the people you talk to because your consciousness technically is you, or is you so being vegan is a lifestyle it's not it's not the way you eat do you know what's so interesting about you saying things like that because one person I'm a massive admirer of within your life is your mother. She is literally one of the yeah, most incredible human vegan. beings. No, it's not even the fact that she's a vegan or anything like that. Just her energy. She's just bare, bare cool. How influential was she uh, on you when you were growing up? Growing up, my mother. My mother did everything you see men glorify today. I'm talking about from street shit to everything. It doesn't, yo. Like I watched my mother be a, a man and a, and, and a woman. Oof. A husband and a wife. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's literally. mad. Literally. My mother probably didn't even have three boyfriends in my whole life. She told me, I was like, why you don't got no man, man? Like everybody else, mother. She said, I already got five husbands, all five of my boys. She said, if I get a man to walk in my house, you got to be able to pay for all of y'all before you can even think about being in love with me. Whew. So I'm like, God damn, this lady tough. <laughs> She's joining <laughs> money, God. So me, and my, oh. me and my mother actually, it's like, man, that's the best person I've had in my life. Like, mm. like all right. I never hide shit from my mother. Only no. thing I hear from my mother is just act like I was a virgin until I was 17. <laughs> and then you had to just come clean. So she's like an auntie. When I watch this show, this ATL show with her and like Bow Wow's on it and everyone's on it, the influence and the respect everyone has for her is different levels. But your god brother, who was like, I was thinking to myself, right, if I was watching my mum in a show and I saw my god brother or someone be rude to her on a reality television show. I don't even know what would happen to me. When you see things like that, does it is it difficult for you to sort of adapt to like, do you pick in, like find yourself picking up the phone like, mom, how did you let him talk to you or anything like that? Nah, to be honest, I ain't even watch it. Serious? I saw you on nah, it when nah, she phoned you. All due seriousness, I bury him. Wow. So for me to watch somebody, I'm just reading real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to see somebody disrespect my mom, if it was that, I'ma bury you. So for me to stay out of shit like that, don't watch I just it. don't watch it. I don't pay attention. That's that's just not my swag. Like, I'm, I'm a cool, serious person because mm. you should know the wrongs and rights, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hundred. Mm. And when you are adult, it's real. Mm. But you're a, you're a soft You okay, say you're a mommy's boy, though. Like, of course. Yeah. To the T and a grandma boy. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm I, so mommy's boy. So hey, the veganism thing you stopped. You know what I find about vegans? I, I didn't stop being vegan. I, I stopped calling myself a vegan. You stop calling yourself one. Yeah. I don't want to be called no vegan. It's like calling me a black man. Not, so the I'm, label, you don't have the label. I'm not fucking, no, you can't, can't call me a color. You can't call me a word, but you can respect my lifestyle. Mm, how are you finding that then, uh, there's a lot of this, very interesting perspective. the woke movement that's happening now and there's a lot of arguing and um, obviously Trump in America, Trump's America. How are you finding all that, the kind of state of consciousness in America right now? Because it is shifting a little bit. In this woke movement, I'm happy for that shit, bro. Yeah, I just don't know, bro. Like, like in America, bro, it's like, we really got social clubs with people really talking now. 
we really got like it's different do you know it's a like a, a distinct difference within uh just your mindset when you first jumped into the scene in comparison to now you know i i i, I found out who nostradamus was when i was 16 years old so i always knew my mindset was a little different you know? mm. so mindset ain't is nothing i just didn't understand the power of what i had in my, in my vocal tone like a lot of people that was around me, they couldn't understand why I was coming here to focus on the mistakes I was making. You see what I'm saying? Like a lot of people like, yo man, Waka, this, like loved ones. I heard Waka, love them, like Waka, this, this, this. But then I see people that's around me like, yo, this guy's a fucking great guy. So it's perception. It's back to perception. I thought you were a great guy since Harden the Paint, to be fair. Have you seen his version of it, by the way? Yeah, nah, we, 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 we have to, to show you. You inspired me to like, make some videos and shit. A right? really dope Since video. Since that, you know, I mean, fam, me and the family is good, so. <laughs> Thanks, man, for being one of those guys. When I came in this shit, bro, I came in this shit to punish everybody. Aye. Punish rappers. So that was your mindset out. at the start. It was like, I'm here to nah, punish the scene. My mindset was to get out the ghetto. Get out the ghetto, My yeah. pockets. That was my, that was my motivation. My yeah. pockets. Them shits had lint in it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My t-shirt <laughs> was wet as fuck. <laughs> Bro, I, I couldn't wear the, the, uh, the real Air Force ones. I had to go buy the fake ones for $50. Yeah, I used to have to make them look fresh all the time. I couldn't buy the fresh ones all the time. Mm. I, I just wanted different things in life, bro, and I didn't want to complain about it. Would well, you know what? See, when I hear your motivation for getting into music and doing what you want to do, I, obviously I don't know because I haven't spoken to some of the rappers that are coming up right now, but it seems like a very, very different mindset. And a question here from DC is like, what's your opinions of modern day rappers? Yeah, because you, you apparently said that Lil Xan needs to quit. And um, <laughs> someone actually in the comments will said, can you please also um, uh, end um, Lil XXX and Tendancion's career or something? Uh, XXX is woke as fuck, though. Yeah, well, he was dropping... He's super woke. Mm. Like, I had personal FaceTime conversations with him. Yeah. Mm. Now, he's still a kid, though. Yeah. So he's going to do things that... From from a uh, from a young man's perspective, he's gonna yeah. talk. He still what, what younger those do. We, we got things called rational decisions, emotional. That's our emotional decision. We make decisions off emotion that can help hurt us in the future. Yeah. So what X did was actually make an emotional decision at times that affect him in his future. He have no help. He have nobody helping him. He have nobody around. That could, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the game's quite tight though. I'm reading it. No, no, team. Nah, on, as you were saying, people don't call me like that. Nah. Ooh. Yeah. I carry on though about the, the, the new new gen of rap. No, he's still out here on this. He's trying to get this Barcelona yeah. thing. The man takes a shot. Uh oh, this smells like one nil. I can't lie to you, Waka. Bro, I go hard in the motherfucker. Hey, one nil. Ah, oh, dead. Man, passing back to the keeper, bro. New rap, new rap, new rap. Talk to us. He was just saying before you got uh, quite indulged in the game. That shit got real regular. <laughs> 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 oh, I wanna call a timeout. Fuck. Give me a rock. Hey! Oh, yeah. hey. Oh, yeah. Go he had too much money. <laughs> too much for memory. That was energy right now. Biggest stuff up. It's I went nice crazy. I'm talking wow. Britney Spears in Vegas getting a level one fan. Hey, y'all really that finesse me crazy. Right That's a nice see, goal. See, I'm more of a focused kind of guy when I play. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's me for and chill, man. The well, music. Challenge. Man, this shit just, like with me, for instance, with rap, well, rap wasn't so much fun because I'm not trying to act like nobody ain't gangster. I ain't trying to act like all rappers is fake. Mm. But a lot of rappers, they're getting credit talking some gangster ass shit. Mm. I could dig in their pockets and beat their ass. So why should I make a song with a person that could really do that to Walker keeps it real. You know what I mean? Walker keeps it real. And, and it, it's funny to me how today's hardcore rappers, ain't about being gangsters. It's just rapping some real shit that a whole society and a community of people that can relate to. Mm. No matter if it's good, wrong, bad, it's entertainment. And mm. people miss the fact that music is entertainment. Do you reckon they're looking too deeply into it? They are, bro. They are. I mean, you look at maybe oh, New York now. Talking about you've got like Casanova and like Six Nine. Casanova's going crazy. You know, you've got two generations clashing almost. I don't know if you're aware of the whole situation that's happening in no, and but like I can't, academics I, and how everything is, everything is like in this melee of like a tornado and the internet and how you how your views on that and obviously it's changed a lot since, since you came into the scene. See, I don't know, man. It was different for me, like. Like when I rap, bro, you couldn't hide, bro. Like the hiding shit was impossible. Like you know how people could go to clubs now, like all the security will protect you. It wasn't like that for me. It wasn't like that. I was coming. Up. I so what does club, that do to the game, though? Because in in this country we got like, grime. It's, it's softening it up. Yes, I agree. In yeah, grime we had colorful. Oh, and you're fucking three nil down as well. 
Uh, how was it working with KSI? Because he's like a YouTube UK legend. Did some boxing recently as well. Well, YouTubers are the new celebrities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Those are the new celebrities, man. I pay. I just. I don't know. I be on YouTube all the time. You just. I fuck with them. Mm. See, man, that's, you what see that Logan Paul that's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? That's how it always happens. <laughs> what does Harden in the paint actually mean? Idris says he's been bugging him for a while. Harden in the paint. I play basketball. Mm. And I always say I go hard in the paint. The I, paint. We call the paint the inside of, of the the the, 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 the Fuck. Instead of the, the shooting, the piano is saying. Yeah, I, I, it's the paint. I, this hard in the paint. This is literally hard in the paint. You the see, box. it's, it's the, the box. box. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. the paint. Yeah. We call that the paint. He just scored. How much are you winning by? Seven. Oh, shit. Yeah, because you're talking. He just scored by. I didn't even realize that. Oh, man, we're going to use them. Give me my moment. No, it's not an excuse. I'm getting my ass beat. I'm just getting my ass beat. Yeah. What's the wildest thing that you've seen at the frat parties you performed in down, down the south, apparently? Man, that shit normal. Okay. Like seeing normal shit is wild. Mm. I agree. This way, uh, uh, what inspired you to make the greatest musical masterpiece of all time in no hands? Pete Ross Kardashian and Wale. I just don't make girl like this. I'm not saying man. No. I was like, let me just get a five girl like this. Go for it, go for it. so happy to be in the studio. The Wale? I made, that, I made that shit for J. Cole again. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. That's supposed to be you, uh, Roscoe and J. Cole. Bang. Wale was, I can't like Wale is. He just so happened to be I'm like, oh shit, he can rap just like yeah. you, <laughs> And I fuck with him, shit. Yeah. Wale, he, Wale speak poetry. He is, mm, man, his, like, his poem mm. on the start of um, Dice Pineapples, I was like, rah, he took it there. Like, he proper, like, Wale's dope. Wale's very, very good, very underrated. What do you think of the grime scene in the UK by Carlton? And the grime scene remind me of the trap, trap or die, Jeezy days, the, uh, the T.I. rubber band days. That's grime today in London. So raw and unapologetic, it's like this is what it is. Rhyme is like walking flock and hard in the paint days right now in London. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. High Jeff, energy. Ooh. Jeff and Mankate, would you work with gigs again? Or have you seen anyone else in the UK that you're, you're feeling right now? Yeah, me and my boy from Go Eat right now. That's my, that's like my, yeah, that's real like my, like my relative. The gigs. Mm. Like, fuck the music. Yeah, like, yeah. He's just my boy. He's the good he's funny. He like a, the most funniest, serious person. Like, he reminds me of like a UK me. He like a UK me, bro. So I met Gates like being a, a G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know he rapped. Oh, real life? Nah, bro. He brought me around South London. I fuck with him. He brought me, brought me some Yachty parties. You come and on. Gates was just testing my gangster. I ain't know that. Is it? But we just being cool and fought though. Like, I'm like, yeah, mine's just like 2013 I'm talking about. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I yeah. knew Gates that long. That's a long time ago. I knew his, his son when he was a baby. Like, so fast forward now to hear my boy like holding the baby on face. I'm like, yo, get me, man. Watch this thing with the baby. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? So I respect that. So we can see eye to eye as men. Yeah. That's what's beautiful. Would you work together again? Yeah, we we'll work together. Exclusive, sir, sir, sir. Gigs in his bag right now. Gigs is getting He's the Fuck his bag. He in his duffel. <laughs> uh, when you really getting money, you focus. We call it the duffel. When you're on your hustle, you're in your bag. Oh, Yo, we're in a football show, we haven't asked any football questions. Um, why did Spain make you fall in love with soccer? Why did Spain? Actually, it wasn't even a, a team. Did you tweeted that. It wasn't just the team, it wasn't just... It was just... Coming from America, soccer is not like the biggest. Mm -hmm. But it's big, big still. And I, I got to Spain, it was just... That shit was like a lifestyle. Like, mm -hmm. bro, everybody was loving it. And I, it was passion. It was. It was not about what we call dick riding. Like it's hot, so everybody loves soccer. No, bro. Like I will fucking kill you if you say fuck my team. <laughs> <laughs> it's not real. It, gets so like that. it made me dial back in. I'm like, whoa. Why is it so crazy? So my um, one of the um, PRs we hired. It's like, yo, we got game to um, Barcelona Madrid tickets. I'm like, Barcelona Madrid. The fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> That's El Clasico. Yeah. Classico. You know what I'm saying? It's about culture. Mm -hmm. It's about, it was, it was, it was, it was some, it, I just like manly shit. There's a lot of integrity and fucking attitude in it. I'm like, <laughs> hell yeah. And I'm like, fuck it, I'm with Barcelona. I'm in Barcelona. I'm staying in Barcelona. Mind you, I've been in Barcelona for like a whole week. Yeah. I was, I was loving it. Everybody got soccer fucking jerseys. I'm, just, I'm riding bikes. Like, bro, I'm, it's, it's, like, it's like my <laughs> first time in four or five years yeah. had a clear mind. Yeah. So I actually had a clear mind and start eating vegan. Was loving soccer. So all of it was just new to me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I hate So when I got home, I was just so different to everybody. 
And I start wearing like fucking drop cross pants and soccer jerseys. But fast forward. Everyone's doing it now. Yeah, everybody doing this shit. You're you still to wear the soccer jerseys now? Yeah. We got, we got you wearing a Leeds one. Why were you wearing a Leeds jersey? Leeds is lit. They treated me well. I respect that. You got, you, what's your favorite one now? Have you got like a jersey that you're, you're fucking with now? Uh, that you Atlanta. Wore? Atlanta. 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 Yeah. And yeah, do you I support them now? Because they're like changing stuff in the US. And I'm wearing it. Seriously. That is good. That's how I gotta go. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, you yeah, gotta put yeah, on from where you're from, man. Well, I, well, I just like Barcelona, bro. I just mm. like how Messi fuck with the people. We've got, we got a question, question actually about ATL here. Um, is um, How does it feel for Dan United taking some culture in the US up another level? And can they win the MLS Cup this season? Of the TI is fucking with them as well. I hit the hammer there already. At the stadium. Yeah. yeah. What? Yo, we live. Wait, hit the hammer? Yeah. We got some shit with any crowd before the game started. Yeah, we hit the it's lit. <laughs> we, <laughs> hey, we you, know the hey, shit. you know where we need to go with him? A derby that. somewhere. Serbia. If you went to a derby, a wall. Red Star Party. Is if there. you went to a Serbian derby, this, you this think derby, mad. If you want manly shit. That is mad. We're it's talking war. flares, fights. It's. Yeah, it's, I'm off for that. <laughs> pitch side? You want to come pitch side for that shit? Oh, wait, that's an experience. That's a mad experience. I hope they're ready. I've, I don't know if you <laughs> This one, I don't know if you'll be ready. Bro, I love it. Yo, <laughs> he's ready. I'm saying, like yeah. I love it. I, I literally love it. Look, I, I feel like look, we could talk forever. We I know. could talk forever, but they're giving us the thing behind the camera. Obviously, yeah. you gotta, you gotta, Man, fuck as you love. You lost, lost seven, seven nil, nil and Martin, but that was an absolute um pleasure. Do you have any like last words of advice for the Yeah, game? I do. Uh, I need y'all game handle. I'm gonna whoop your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just look? We can uh, carry on. Yeah, we're gonna stop. We'll stop. We'll can stop. we just end it on a have a nice? Have a nice. <laughs>